Greetings. Today we're looking at a, a setup that is important to know how to do because in a lot of physical security implementations where we're putting in cameras, we oftentimes cannot get the camera uh, in a place where we can reach it with either power or with a network cable. So in this scenario, I've set up a very popular way to do this, and that is with a simple bridge setup. I'm using, in this case, the Ingenious products. I'm using the Ingenious ENH500. In order to connect the camera up remote from point to point, you would require two of these units. One of these units, this particular one right here, is set up as an access point mode, and the other unit is set up as a bridge mode. On the other side of the bridge, I have connected straight to the uh, back of this unit, I have connected a trend net, a small little trend net IP based camera that I could potentially put at a remote location. At the remote side where the bridge is at, I would only require AC power. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interfaces first of the Ingenious ENH500 uh, access point. So let's take a look at that. If you, if you notice, here's the web interface of that wireless access point. Right underneath the Ingenious logo, you can see that it is in access point mode right now. If we go down and you click on operation mode, you can see that this has been set to an access point mode. Now, if you go down to the wireless network settings, you will see that it has been set up uh, to broadcast and advertise an SSID called Ingenious One. I've set up no security at all for this lab situation, but normally you would set up your wireless security settings like you normally would. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bridge side. This is the Ingenious product that has been set up in client bridge mode. Notice right underneath the Ingenious logo, it says client bridge. Down below, click on operation mode, and you will see that this particular one has been set up in client bridge. If you click on wireless network settings, you will notice that uh, I did, don't do it now, but we, we have the option to click Site Survey. When you do that, it'll automatically detect the wireless networks that it can connect to. In this case, it automatically connected to and detected to its buddy over here. Notice that it is right now connected to the Ingenious One SSID. If you'll just take a real quick look, I, you can't really see it on this video very well, but on the back of the Ingenious product, you can see that it automatically identifies the link quality uh, lit up by lights. In this particular case, my light quality is good. It better be because they're right next door to each other. Now, now that I've connected these two together and they're connecting through the network, I have plugged in uh, my, uh, my um, TrendNet camera straight to the back of the Ingenious Network connection. This is not a PoE connection, so I've also had to provide AC power to the back of the TrendNet camera. I've set up an IP address for the TrendNet camera, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the TrendNet camera. There you go. So I'm, I'm looking at through the TrendNet camera, and the TrendNet camera signal is coming through the client bridge over to the access point and into our network. That's it. That concludes our discussion. Thank you very much.